Scientists estimate that as many as 200 species of plants, insects, birds, and mammals become extinct every 24 hours. Because of the violent upheaval in our natural world, it seems like most news is focused on the eradication and extinction of species, rather than their discovery. But the animal kingdom is so vast that humans are still cataloging new creatures all the time. Today we're exploring new species discovered in the last year. The Molotecta, or Hoodwinker sunfish, was first discovered on a beach near Christchurch, New Zealand. The massive creature was the first new sunfish to be discovered in more than 130 years. Molotecta are mostly discovered in the temperate region of the Southern Hemisphere, in the water near Australia, New Zealand, Southern Chile, and Southern Africa. These fish feed at very extreme depths, which could explain why it took so long for humans to interact with them. And Hoodwinker sunfish feeds a lot. They can grow to be up to 8 feet in length and weigh an amazing 2 tons. These bizarre creatures, which easily dwarf humans, feed on massive plankton-like organisms called salps. Salps are fascinating prey because they move by contracting, thus pumping water through their gelatinous bodies. They represent one of the most efficient examples of jet propulsion in the animal kingdom. However, these slow-moving invertebrates are no match for a molotecta, which will generally swallow them whole. Because of increased oceanic pollution, it is believed that these animals are now dwindling in numbers, but they are still thriving in certain isolated parts of the southern hemisphere, and as far north as the Netherlands. Scientists discovered a new wasp species with a terrifyingly large stinger. Researchers from the University of Turku in Finland recently discovered the Clistopyga crassicaudida, which lives between the Andes Mountains and the Amazon rainforests. It's a tiny parasitoid wasp with a giant stinger that the female uses not only to paralyze her host, but also to deposit eggs inside the unsuspecting creature, who will soon suffer a grueling death as the baby wasps burst out of its body. Wasps are already a pretty unique type of animal distinct from other insects, but parasitoid wasps Wasps make themselves even more distinct by avoiding social groups, hunting for prey, and moving about solitarily, without mating. The giant stinger of the current species is very likely a highly sophisticated tool as well, but unfortunately we can only guess at its purpose, says the professor who first discovered this monstrous creature. As upsetting as this wasp may seem, wasps are generally beneficial to humans. Pests insects are prey for many wasp species, as food or as hosts for parasite larvae. It might seem tricky to catch one of these needle-wielding wasps without getting stung, but the researchers said the sting of parasitoid wasps doesn't hurt much compared with those of other wasps and bees. And he said the species with super long stings Stingers typically can't sting humans because their stinger is too flimsy. A small black whale found in Pacific Ocean waters off the northern coastline of Japan has been identified by scientists as a new species. Whalers based in Japan's northernmost island Hokkaido are thought to have long been aware of the existence of the beaked whales, referring to them by a local name Karasu, meaning crow. The new whale species, B. minimus, stands apart from the rest of the Berardius genus, explained Tadasu Yamada, a curator at the National Museum of Nature and Science, in a press release. Just by looking at them, we can tell they have a remarkably smaller body size, more spindle-shaped body, a shorter beak, and darker color compared to known Berardia species, Yamada says. Beaked whales prefer deep ocean waters and have a long diving capacity, making them harder to see and inadequately understood. The discovery of the new whale species, suspected to be the same as the Karasu type long spotted by local whalers, comes shortly after Japan resumed its controversial whaling practices after a 33-year hiatus. Hokkaido has long been known as one of Japan's whaling hubs, with many whalers based in its Kushiro port. Animal rights groups criticize the hunt of whales as being cruel, unnecessary, and economically insignificant. It has been proven that these ultra-intelligent creatures suffer greatly during their deaths, and they are not a necessary source of fuel or food for these cultures. A previously undiscovered species of electric eel, which delivers a shock with more than three times the voltage of a domestic plug socket, has been discovered in the Amazon rainforest. The enormous 2.5-meter eel has been named the Electrophorus volti, after Alessandro Volta, the Italian physicist who invented the battery. The animal, a type of knife fish, can discharge an electric shock reaching as high as 860 volts, the most powerful of any animal known to science. The jolt is far higher than the 650 volts previously recorded from electric eels, according to the study published in Nature Communications. The electric eel is the only fish that produces such a strong discharge. It uses three electric organs. The shock is used for defense and predation, said Carlos David de Santana, an associate researcher on the project. I remember the first time I was shocked, said de Santana, an ichthyologist at the National Museum of Natural History in Washington, D.C., who recalled falling into the water and dropping his equipment. I was scared. Dr. de Santana has suffered several high-voltage attacks in his years studying electric eels, including one close to 400 volts. 
Not long after Donald Trump became President of the United States, a moth was named in his honor. Only the moth was not meant to be a flattering comparison. With its striking crown of yellow and piercing stare, this newly discovered moth could only have been named after one man. The new species has been christened Neopapa Donald Trumpy, in honor of America's 45th president. Scientists also noted that it appeared to be wearing a blonde wig and possessed small genitals. The moth lives in a habitat that spans Southern California and Mexico's Baja California, and was named by evolutionary biologist Vazrik Nazari in an article published by scientific journal Zookeys. The specific epithet is selected because of the resemblance of the scales on the fronds or head of the moth to Mr. Trump's hairstyle, Nazari wrote in the article, which was published on Tuesday. The reason for this choice of name is to bring wider public attention to the need to continue protecting fragile habitats in the U.S. that still contain many undescribed species, he added. It seems that the naming of the moth was intended to poke fun at the sitting president. So far, he has not taken to Twitter to respond to this insult. Caltech researchers identified a new worm species in California which has three different sexes, along with a pouch which is identical to those of kangaroos. The researchers, who found eight species of worms, noted that these creatures can survive 500 times the arsenic dose that would kill a human. They discovered these species in the arsenic-rich Mono Lake in California. All eight of these worms are unique. Some are predators, some are parasites. Others nosh on microbes in the lake. But they're all extremophiles, organisms that thrive in severe conditions that most species couldn't thrive in. The California lake is just one of several extreme locales where researchers have spotted nematodes, the phylum all eight worm species belong to. They survive in the bottom of the ocean, the Antarctic tundra, and even under the Earth's surface. Nematodes, the researchers posited, might be genetically predisposed to thrive in extreme conditions. Learning more about the factors that keep them alive in harsh environments could lead to a breakthrough in human health, researchers said. They hope that if they study these amazing creatures, they will be able to draw conclusions regarding how humans could survive in more extreme conditions. With its soft, round ears, pink nose, and wide brown eyes, the Alangito is an absolute teddy bear and the first new species of carnivore discovered in the Western Hemisphere in 35 years, nicknamed the Kitty Bear. This carnivore has been melting hearts since it was discovered by biologists working in the Amazon rainforest. Oddly enough, the Alangito was living right under scientists' noses this whole time. A specimen named Ring Girl was exhibited in the Smithsonian-run National Zoo in Washington for a year in a case of mistaken identity. Keepers believed it was an Olingo, a close relative of the smaller Alangito. A full-grown Olingito is said to grow up to 14 inches long. They are so tiny, writes Saving Species, a conservation group working to protect land where the species was found. They almost fit in the gentle hands of our conservation experts. The animals eat fruit and only have one baby at a time. Their long claws and padded feet help them grip branches as they walk among trees in the cloud forest. Unfortunately, these creatures are the victims of massive deforestation, and they likely will not survive if humans continue their same consumer habits. A deep-sea lizardfish found off the coast of Australia is definitely in the running for the most nightmarish creature in the world. This creature lives between 3,000 to 8,000 feet deep in the ocean, far from human sight. As a result, the fish is blind, but still has two milky black eyes that seem to haunt anyone who dares to look into them. This rarely seen creature was caught by scientists from the Australian Marine National Facility, who were trawling through the eastern abyss of Australia. Deep sea lizard fish can be found in the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans within the aphotic zone, where less than 1% of sunlight penetrates. Deep sea lizard fish are one of the world's deepest living apex predators and will not hesitate to eat anything they meet, including their own kind. They are predominantly piscivores, hunting deep dwelling fish. Like most deep sea species, the deep sea lizard fish is an ambush predator. The freezing temperatures of the water limit the amount of energy these marine species can exert. Therefore, they wait for their prey to come in close contact and then attack when the time is right. Their large eyes and teeth allow the deep sea lizard fish and other ambush predators to kill their food source swiftly without exerting a great deal of energy. The Alta Floresta Titi is a species of Titi, a type of New World monkey endemic to Brazil. There have been seven new species of Titi discovered since 2002, but the most recent is particularly incredible. What caught our attention right away was its all-black tail, which is uncommon in Titi monkeys in southern and southeastern Amazonia, explains Brazilian primatologist Jean Blubli of the University of Salford in England. 
The general appearance and coloring of its back, with the reddish tones on the shoulders and the fur on its face, also caught our attention. The newly identified TT exclusively inhabits the area between two major metropolitan areas in Brazil. It was surprising to have discovered a new species of monkey near urban areas in Alta Floresta, an easily accessible place that's already been visited by numerous researchers, Bubli notes. The region where the TTs of Alta Floresta live is part of what has been named the Arc of Deforestation, a southern region of the Amazon with significant deforestation, meaning that this new species of TT may not be around for much longer. A giant toothy centipede with countless legs also has the ability to swim, making it the first known aquatic centipede on record. And as if this wasn't already terrifying, the centipede is extremely venomous, researchers found. Gregory Edgecombe of London's Natural History Museum claims he has discovered the world's first amphibious centipede, a monster that can grow up to 7.9 inches, or 20 centimeters in length. And unless you live in Southeast Asia, you won't be finding this critter in the garden, or your local swimming hole. The creature has a very painful bite, and is a gross looking dark greenish black color, says Edgecombe. The centipede has five to six teeth in its lower jaw, and its body is a blackish color. It was pretty horrific looking, Edgecombe told National Geographic. Though it has only just been discovered by scientists, locals in Southeast Asia have told legends about these terrible creatures for years. 